Hello guys, welcome to Cognitive Hub Talent Tutorials. Till now, we have seen about lot of input components where we can retrieve the data from the local file, local file system to the talent studio uh, within the job, or uh, we can also say about uh, from the one server to the another server. And we have all seen about multiple components like how we can retrieve the delimited uh, files or uh, XML files or JSON files using some of the components uh, uh, in the talent studio. But we have one more component like uh, I can say about one of the advanced co advanced component just like T hash input and T hash output in talent studio that I am going to explain in this video that is nothing but T file input MS positional. So I am going to explain about that component in this uh, video guys so, without wasting any time let's dive into the topic. So first of all I want to give a brief introduction about the file that I am going to take for that particular uh, like uh, to illustrate the T file input MS positional. So this is the file that I am going to take. So what I am going to say is uh, suppose if you have a single schema like for all the records that are present in a file is having the same schema and you want to retrieve that file uh, that particular file like having the same schema like every record is following the same schema and uh, is all records is containing in the same file and now you want to retrieve that file you can use either t file input xml or t file input json or t file input delimiter depending upon the delimiter or the file type that it is having but suppose uh, if you are having a multiple type of data types suppose uh, uh, if you are having these few records like uh, suppose a file contains a 10 records and two records is having one sort of uh, schema and another three records is having the other sort of schema and remaining uh, like remaining six records or five records is having the another uh, type of schema so in such type of schemas how you are going to identify that schemas and how you are gonna split that particular type of schemas is uh, will be explained in this video so like as I said in the T file input delimited we are going to use that such type of components only if we have all the records is in the form of same schema type but if you are having multiple schemas in the same file in multiple records then you are gonna use T file input MS positional so the same I am gonna explain here so if you consider here the first record H starting with HED and the fourth, uh, the third and uh, sorry, the fourth and fifth records are also starting with HED. And if you consider the next ones, it is con uh, it is containing some values here and then ending with uh, some string value. So let me tell you what I mean. So this is the file that I have created just to illustrate. And similarly, the next one is starting with HED. And next one is some uh, like some value and then some string value and then account value. So let me tell you what is the exact schema that it follows. So let us consider the first uh, two values like HAD starting with HAD. So here what I consider is suppose if you are having such type of uh, different schema types you need, you need to have some header value instead of uh, starting with that. So the header value should be of same length whether it is two type character uh, like two type character or three type character that is of your case but here just for the for our case I am using three type uh, three variable uh, uh, string here so the three variable string is nothing but h uh, the starting hid or hid depending upon the first three characters we are going to identify what is the schema type so that length what is whether it may be three characters or five character string it may be of your choice but depending on that you need to identify what is the schema of that and you need to specify what is the schema for that particular header type as well so if you consider here hid is one type and hid is another type so for HAD what it is containing is the next column like the next single value is nothing but the the record number like the record number for that particular schema type. So for the HAD it is the record number of 1. Similarly for the second second HAD the record type is so the record value is 2 that means it is the first record and the below one is the second record for HAD and the next four characters are nothing but in the, uh, like uh, some id value you can assume so the next four characters are id for that particular record and then the next four are id and the next five characters are some uh, you can say it as name name of the account and the next five records are string value oh, let me remove it and change the value 8654 yeah so this last uh, what we can say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 the last 10 values are account number you can mention 
the similarly the same schema it is also following uh, now if you go to the hcd the first value then uh, after the next two character after the first three characters like hcd it is nothing but the record number if you consider this the record number is 1 and the below one is record number is 2 and the below record number is 3 and the next few characters the next four characters are nothing but account uh, like id and then the next 10 characters are string uh, like uh, it is a account number and the remaining characters are it's a uh, like a string name of the person in the account number so this is the schema like if you consider the two hcd and hcd just for our illustration purpose i took this uh, similar number of uh, columns here but in some cases the hcd contains uh, like uh, hcd contains more records and like more number of columns but hcd contains very less number of columns in such type of cases it all depends upon the schema and the length of the column that you want to specify so let uh, without wasting any time let's go to that file so let me insert that component t file input ms positional so if you double click that so it is not normal like it is not uh, same as the previous component that we have seen uh, like configurations it is something different so the first thing is you need to map for the input file that input file will be present in the same folder where we took the previous files input positional.txt and row separator is slash n and you need to specify here what is the header field position and uh, remember that everything will start from this uh, zero character so here we are considering the three characters that means 0 1 2 3 that means uh, it the ending character it won't include that means it only considers the 0 1 2 positions so that's why here it, it will also say about some example start hyphen n for example for first three characters it is 0 3 the same what we mentioned suppose if you want four characters then you need to specify 0 to 4 and if you want five characters you need to specify 0 to 5 so depending on that and similarly uh, you need to specify whether you have a record uh, header or not here we haven't uh, we didn't have any header so you can mention 0 here and limit minus 1 is nothing but we need to include all the records from the input file suppose if you have mentioned only 10,000 records it will only take uh, 10,000 records from the input file but it is not the case in our hands like it is not our uh, case we need to include all the records because we have very limited records and now here comes the main picture so depending upon the schemas that you have in the input file we have total only two schemas uh, one type is uh, two schema types one schema type is hcd starting with hcd and another schema type is starting with hcd and if you have some other uh, schema types like starting with uh, he uh, something hf hfv or something like that you can mention that schema type also but as of now for the schema type i am clicking one and this next one as well for the first schema i am giving the name as hcd and it is asking for the schema what is the schema that you want to give and the first schema is header and the next schema is record number which is an integer and the next one is id which is also an integer and let me open the file for hid id name name and account number name is also a string and then account number let us make it a string as well so this is the schema for hid and similarly for the the second one is hid sorry i need to remove this the second one is hid similarly it will ask for the schema and you need to specify the same the first one is header which is a string and then record number which is an integer and then i think uh, id which is an integer and then account number which is a string and then name string i don't think this column is needed for now so click ok so this is the schema that we need for now and you can mention header value as uh, what is the header value that it is starting with you can mention it in the double quotes similarly in the second one header value is hed 
so these are the two values that you need to identify for this particular type of schema so if the header value is hed that means if the starting three characters are hed then it will take the schema of hed and similarly if the first three characters are hed then it will take the schema of uh, hed and the most key part here is the identification of patterns here as i already mentioned for hed you need to specify the length of the pattern so the first three characters it always starts from the like it, you need to count the number of characters suppose if it is hed you need to character like you need to count it like h as 1 a as 2 d as 3 that means total three characters are there for header so like that you need to count <coughs> so similarly if you uh, take this hed we need we have uh, depending upon the schema you need to mention so for hed we have three characters so just make it in double quotes 3 comma 1 as a id 4 as a uh, number of i uh, sorry id hed 1 and record number as 1 and 2 3 4 1 as a id value and it is same as all the below ones and next five characters as a next five characters as a sorry name and rest are the same like whatever the remaining case after this string you can mention it as star instead of uh, mentioning the uh, like the count you can mention as star and it will automatically take as the last field and similarly hed for hed also if you mention this the first hed is three characters and then record number 1 next four are account numbers sorry ids and then next uh, four 8 9 10 10 characters are account numbers so the same i am going to mention it here 4 10 10 star so the both are same almost but uh, in this case just for the illustration i am explaining it with the almost all same examples like but a little difference but in the major cases sometimes you will be getting uh, like nearly five schema types in a single file in the project as well as with the same different type of schema types so in that case it will be very useful this type of components like for multiple schemas t file input ms uh, positional and don't be confused with the t file input ms positional and t file input positional both are different and i am going to explain about uh, i i also i think already explained about t file input positional in the previous videos and yeah this is what uh, you need to do once you then this is the configuration for t file input ms positional and if it is fine now i am just mentioning t log row here here also t log row i am not doing any uh, higher level aggregations just i am mentioning it inside the t log row to illustrate the here the main concept why i am doing this video is to illustrate uh, uh, t file input ms positional so in some cases if you are getting in like if you are getting such type of files in the in your project it might be easy to use this this component so what i did was here in the one t log row it is like uh, so saving it yeah so in one in one t log it will split it as account id sorry account uh, hed had a types and in another one it is also split as hed so i am running this if everything goes well it won't throw any error yeah build was successful yeah if you observe this the input file contains total five records here so along with hed and hed we have total five but if you consider the output for hed we got three records and for hed we got two records that is what we have in the input file for hed we have two and for hed we have three so it is fine but let us see what are the, what is the data so the same we have whatever the values that you have mentioned for hed one and record number is one and id as four characters radha as uh, five characters and rest are account numbers the similar thing for the below one depending upon the schema so this is how you can split the data into multiple schemas here i have directly connected it to our uh, uh, t log row but in some uh, in normally in the project cases what it will do is 
the whatever the output that we have in the t uh, like had the schema type it will store it in uh, some t hash output and in the below it will be using it as a t using the t hash input components similarly for uh, uh, hcd it will store it in another t hash output and it will uh, use uh, t hash input uh, by connecting it over t hash output whatever it may be so using that it will connect and it will do the corresponding operations so for the like in the normal in the business perspective the files will mostly come in the form of just uh, t file input ms positional or t file input positional comp in the in such type of uh, file formats so that is all for this video guys if you like this video please do uh, like share and subscribe this video i hope you like this video guys thank you for watching